Aston Villa nil, uh, Aston Villa nil, Aston Villa two, Wolves nil. Uh, full time here at Villa Park. Really frustrating evening for Wolves. We knew it was going to be difficult. You look, you see the situation that Wolves are in with the players and the availability at the moment. And it could have been a different game. We had chances towards the start of the game. I had a couple of messages at, um, at half time talking about the chances that Wolves had and created, but. Ultimately, when you go in at one nil down at half time, it's a it, it's a difficult place um, and a difficult situation to be in. Uh, Walls remaining pretty much unchanged from the commentary game. The only big change was Leon Chawomi coming in for Nathan Fraser. Uh, Fraser got a lot of slack after uh, the performance against Coventry. Chawomi came in, did okay, but once again, similar story to what you saw with Fraser, just lacked that little bit of composure and experience. And I think at times with Chawomi, a little bit of anticipation just to jump on and pounce on the ball at the right sort of time. Big chance for Wolves in the first half. Aiton Ori, really, that's the chance. That's the what if moment. I think if Aiton Ori takes that, which I think you back any Premier League pay, player to do so, Wolves are in a, you know, it's a completely different game. Wolves won the up and probably can sit on that lead for quite a while. But typically, Wolves, you know, cheap free kick given away. I know a lot of fans saying around me it shouldn't have been given, but ultimately, I think it, it, it's what you've given um, the referee a decision to make. Marking and everything is just really poor. A very, very simple goal to give away. And, you know, you give Villa a lead easy for Unai Emery at half time to sort of sort out his game plan for the second half and the second goal was really poor as well again a number of players you could probably pin the blame on but ultimately look I think Villa had a lot of players missing as well you know John McGinn uh, Kamara out injured for them as well uh, and so did Wolves you know Cunha I was told yesterday he wasn't going to be back fit uh, you know Neto Huang still out really weak poor team you know from uh, Wolves team sorry from you know the forward line it's just it's almost non-existent really and I think ultimately Villa are where they are because they've got more match winners than Wolves you know if you don't need Ollie Watkins you know you've still got a lot of quality around him because he came off at half time and that was the difference today Villa took their opportunities made life difficult for Wolves and when Wolves haven't got much quality and pace to get in behind that's going to be the difference really so Frustrating evening for Wolves. Look, Gary O'Neill's rested players, changed things around. A lot of younger players come on. And when you've got the likes of, you know, Tawanda Chere were coming on. Uh, to, yeah, uh, yeah, Chere were coming on and Nathan Fraser coming on. No disrespect to whether you're at the top of the Premier League or at the bottom of the Premier League. Players with that lack of experience should not be coming on the pitch for you. Uh, and that's no disrespect to them. That's just you know the, the way Wolves have set up with their squad so far so ultimately now we've got to focus on Burnley much more winnable game for Wolves away from home on Tuesday fingers crossed we can get some more points on the board and then we move on to West Ham next week let me know your thoughts in the comment section hit that like button subscribe to the channel I'll catch you guys soon